TAVR is the short terminology for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. Essentially, it is a procedure whereby you are putting in a new heart valve in the position where the patient's own aortic valve has either narrowed or has become leaky. This is the valve that essentially pumps out one gallon of blood every minute to the entire body. And when this valve becomes narrow, the heart actually has to work much harder and it struggles to get the blood out. The common condition that affects the aortic valve is called aortic stenosis. And aortic stenosis means narrowing of the aortic valve. So the aortic valve has to open to some extent so that the body can be supplied adequate blood. And when it narrows, the blood flow goes down and the work of the heart goes up. I think the early days were very exciting. And at the same time, they were slightly um, um, you know, nerve wracking because the technology was first generation and the valves were much, uh, you know, the catheters were much bigger in size. And the patients that we were treating were actually much older and they had a lot of comorbidity. So they were very, very sick patients because this was new technology. Uh, and we were just using it or saving it only for patients who were not surgical candidates. So, but I think what we found out was that even in these patients who were very sick and very old, we were able to do this procedure safely. The last decade belonged to transcatheter technologies focused on the aortic valve. What we will see in the next 10 years is a similar growth uh, in transcatheter procedures related to the mitral and to the tricuspid valve. Uh, we have been at the cutting edge of these technologies and the early indications are that these procedures are not only safe and feasible, but also produce beneficial effect for our patients.